Uh, what it is and what it do. Boss here. And just wanted to come in with a little intro. You knew you were going to hear from me today if you ain't hear from me nothing the rest of the week. Why? I tell for why. I tell for why. Because if you bear witness to yesterday, then you got a testimony today. And that's all I'm trying to say to you. You knew what happened yesterday. You knew what happened the day before. You know how bad it was. You know how good it was. And whatever it was you thought, whatever might have made you doubt, you should now be able to say, well, I toughed that one out. And here I is again. Have mercy. I'm so grateful. I try to throw that drink on London and then it's extended. Now, if you're going to sit there close mouthed it, close mouthed it, and act like you don't know, and act like you ain't bear witness, and act like you ain't survive, and act like you ain't achieve, and today is just another day, another 24 hours, you got to get through this shit, then you have the wrong introspective look on life. Is what you got. You got a problem. You got a problem. You got an issue. You got an issue. You got an issue. You're not looking favorably upon the opportunities you have in life. And you also are not looking at the blessings that are in your life. Dumb blessings don't always pertain to your immediate happening and what's happening right exactly along with you, but other people as well. You know? If you really don't look and really don't pay that much attention, then you miss a lot in life. Sometimes other people in your life that mean something to you are what affect you. And they are your testimony. They are your, you know, your evidence that, yeah, it ain't as bad as I think. It ain't as bad as I thought. I'm going to be all right. I just saw, I just bear witness to somebody doing a little worse than me that happened to come through. Well, then I, I got to be okay with what's going on with me. My situation ain't even that bad. You know? And in the same sense, let me talk to you, bro. Let me talk to you. In the same sense of that sentence, some people... Miss the whole point when they bear witness to something that's going on. They they take it as a negative when something happens to somebody else. It happened to that person, but because you saw it and you saddened by it, you feel bad about yourself. Shouldn't you be <laughs> shouldn't you be aiming your blessings and prayers toward that person instead of asking God to help you get through witnessing what you saw and what you see? Do you get it? Do you get it? You don't even know what I'm talking about. You really need to. Hold on. Whoa. Because I need a break every now and again to stay celebrating the blessings that are there. Because sometimes you miss them. Sometimes you miss them. Oh, um, you look at the TV, you hear the news, you get a report. Uh, two women got raped. And. A baby fell out of his stroller and then hurt his head. And you said, oh, Lord, have mercy, boy. Lord, bless me. Please help me get through these trying times. We're talking about two women and a baby that, that, that just got affected negatively. Maybe you should point your blessings that way. You will get through it because it didn't happen to you. But, yes, it is sad. But it should make you pray that much more hard. That much more hard. You know, every blessing, every prayer shouldn't be to and about you. This is a world and a society we live in, and if people don't have that perspective, you need them to get on board just as well as you already feel that you're on board. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you know what? I ain't going to do this every day, but maybe I will. I don't know. It depends on the check. But that's not the point, really. It's just when you are able to bear witness and, and, and say it and tell it, because you know it, you, should, you, you shouldn't be the quietest person. You shouldn't be the quietest person. You know, I, you don't, you around people that's so negative, you have no idea as to why. They sitting there with all their fully functioning, able, useless ass body parts. They ain't doing a damn thing, but they are there in good spirits talking shit. In good spirits talking shit. You know, they need to bump up the I pay. All we getting is eighteen fifty. What? It's people on the picket line trying to get fifteen. For doing, for doing more work. You're doing less work and getting paid more money. And you don't see the angle. 
You don't see the angle. There's no room to share in your world because everything is mine. I got to get all I can get and to hell with everybody else. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know how you do it. I really don't. You know? God works in the way in which everyone can be benefited, but he needs your help. You know, if some of you out there is so sanctified and so saved and so worthy of praise, you should be you should be in a sharing capacity at all times. Because all you got is the evidence and the testimony of how great your life has been, how good God's been to you. And you just can't let that slide. I just ain't gonna let that slide now. What do you think I'm gonna just not tell it? I'm gonna tell it. I'm, I gotta tell it. I'm a rat and I'm a snitch. I'm gonna tell it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it. Of course I'm gonna tell it. What are you talking about? Get out of here. This is the time you should be ratting and snitching like you was back when you was getting in trouble and stealing and, and, and all this. <laughs> you protect the G code, but you won't protect the G O D code. Nah, you got it twisted, fella. Look, little, 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 little lady, little girl, boy. You better get on board, man. Tell it. Snitch. Right on God. He don't mind. Tell it. Tell it. He just he just woke me up this morning. Got me out of my bed. I should have probably not woke up. I ain't did shit yesterday. I might not do nothing today, but still he found reason for me to wake up and be here and why shouldn't I tell somebody? Rat, snitch, tell it. Tell it. Be a confidential informant about the Lord. Tell everybody. Snitch it out. Snitch it. <laughs> put it on the wire. Put it on the ground. Put it on the line. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Insta. You put every other thing on there with your ugly ass self with your doggone ridiculous eyelashes and your doggone too tight skirt with your gut hanging over. You put that on there. Why not put your testimony on how great God has made life for you in spite of your shortcomings. Why not? Why not? You scared? Oh, you scared. You scared. Oh, I do the uh, drink a gallon of uh, vinegar challenge. Yeah, I should kick you in your ass. <laughs> I should kick you in your ass. <laughs> I don't care about that. I don't care about none of that, my boy. None of that mean nothing to me. None of that. <laughs> you know what means something to me? My loved ones is happy. My loved ones is able-bodied. My loved ones is together. And they know God makes it possible for that to happen. And that means we got a chance at, if it, at it being all right. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> I'm going to get at y'all later, man. Stay prayed up.